it was election time in the US, so that probably means you have been bombarded with different variations of the US map, where the states are called blue or red. Now, leaving aside the discussion, what is a good map to visualize the voting results? There's one thing that I saw that was kind of cool and interesting to look at, and that is how you can show the development over time by using what is called a play axis visual in Power BI. Okay, and that's what we're gonna focus on in this video. Welcome to How To Power BI. My name is Bas, and if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all Power BI features. Now, let's dive in straight away. In this video, we are going to look at the play axis visual. And I created this simple report here for the US elections. Now, the play axis is what you find here in the top right corner. And there we have play button, pause button, stop button, previous and next button. And basically allows you to just put different filters in place one by one. For the visuals, I got my data from this website over here that updates every 50 minutes or so the latest data for the voting for different states. Now let's quickly recreate that report that we have there. Now, first of all, I started off with the multi-card visual. Okay, so that's this one over here. And then I added the field state. Then we are also interested to know, okay, who is leading in that state. And then I created two measures. The first measure is to see how much percentage of the votes this leading candidate has. Okay, so over here, that's this measure. And then I created another measure to see how many of the votes have been counted in percentages. Okay, now let's resize it so that we have everything right next to each other. And then I want to get rid of the category label. So I go to format and then turn the category label off. And then I want to filter this box only for the first state. So I go to the filter section, state, and then I'm only going to select the very first one, Arizona. And here I want to require a single selection. So I'm sure only one state is selected. And then of course we need to add some color to it, either blue or red. So I'm going to go to format. And then here I go to border. Turn it on. Now here we're gonna use conditional formatting. So let's click on the FX button. New dialog box pops up from which we can then choose format by a field value. And that field value is gonna be a metric. So a measure that I created. Now here I'm saying, okay, check the leading candidate name. If it's Biden, then return blue. So that's the hex code for a certain type of blue and otherwise, return red. Okay, so that's it. And that determines the border color. Okay, so let's check it. So for this one, I should see a blue color because we have Biden over there. And indeed, it's blue. Okay, so let's go back, select it. And then the only thing that I want to do is get rid of that little borderline there. So I'm going to go back to format, go to card, and then turn this show bar. I'm going to turn that one off. Okay, so then resize it and copy paste it five times so that we have one box for every state. And then you have five of these boxes, then you just place them underneath each other. And then once you have them positioned how you want them, you select all of them and then align them to the left or to the right so that they're nicely aligned and then also distribute them evenly. So just go to format and then distribute vertically and then align to the left. And now we have everything still filtered on Arizona. And of course, for the other ones, we need to update that. Okay, so I'm going to go to the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, and then choose a different state every time. Okay, so I've done it for the other states as well. And then put two text boxes for the headers. And the only thing that's still missing is the map. Okay, so let's create that one. I'm going to go here and choose the shape map. And I'm going to place it underneath my cards, then resize it a little bit. And then for the location, I'm going to use the state, of course. And then for the legend, I want to have the leading candidate name. And then color saturation, 
well we could choose the vote differential so the margin between the two and then i can simply go to format and then data colors and then choose blue for biden and then for trump we're going to choose red and then i'm going to get rid of the legend i also don't want to have the title so that only are left with the map okay so now we have the cards we have the map the only thing that's still missing is then the play axis okay so i have to go to the ellipse in the visualization section then get more visuals that opens the marketplace and from there we can look for the play axis visual okay so here we have a search box but before i'm going to use that i've switched to all first then go to search and then here we have play i'm going to search for that and then there it is okay so let's add it then to the report okay so we're going to place it at the top and on this play axis visual we only have to use one field and that's going to be the date time in this case because we have voting information for a few days by hour and that's what i'm adding here so i place date time on it let's just resize a little bit to see the actual visualization you see there we have different buttons and now if i click on play it starts putting filters in place and for each item that i have in this date time column so you see there it goes now let's stop it now to make it clear what it actually does well it basically would be the same to go here to the filter section and then open the date time field and require a single select and then manually click on the first one then the second one then the third one etc but instead of doing that manually you can just use this play axis visualization which does it one by one for you okay what is next now i want to make this look a little bit better so you see how we have a title and then this placeholder for uh, the item that it's filtering on so i'm going to go to format and here i'm going to go to animation settings now here you can click on auto start if you want that also if you want to loop or not and how quickly it should go to the next item uh, inside of that field okay now the default is okay for now let's go and in the disable the caption now the caption is this daytime placeholder okay so if i remove that then it doesn't show anymore what is currently selected okay so i need later a different visualization that shows me okay this is the date and time that's currently showing okay but we're going to fix that in a second now the title i don't need so i'm going to go here to title turn that off and then just resize a little bit so that these buttons are not that huge okay now how are we now going to show what is currently selected why don't we click on play later now for that i would use card visuals so let's create the first one now in the first one i'm going to show the date or the time okay so let's start with the date first and then here let's make that a little bit smaller so that it doesn't take so much space so i'm going to turn the category label off and then under data label we're going to decrease the font size and let's decrease it to 18 and then resize it and then let's place it at the top right corner over here okay so that's the date now here we don't have the time so i'm going to create a separate card for that or I just copy paste the one that I just created. All right, let's place this one underneath the date and then replace the earliest date with the earliest time. So I'm gonna take the time field, place it also on there. If I click here on play, then it starts playing the different hours one by one. Okay, so now we have the card visual for the time. Let's put it here on the right hand side. So I'm just gonna resize it. And then also here for the play axis, just gonna slide it a little bit more to the left so that it does not overlap with the other visuals. And here on the filter section, don't forget to delete the filter, otherwise it will not work later. So now we have all of the visuals that we were looking for. Okay, so the only thing that's left is to make it a little bit prettier, but that's just formatting. And once you are done with that, well, then we can click on the play button and lean back and see the magic happen. So the play axis is a custom visual that you can add to your report and it applies a filter 
to every visual that you want that's on that report, okay? Now, there is actually also a visual that already has this built in, and that is the scatter plot. Now, I have here a new data set so that we can build a scatter plot that shows different indicators for world development. All right, so let's insert a scatter plot then. And here I'm gonna add the life expectancy on the Y axis. And then we have the fertility rate I'm gonna put on the X axis. And then I'm gonna have the details for every country. And then the size of these bubbles is gonna be determined by the population. So that's gonna be on size. And then on the legend, I want to have the different regions. Okay, so let's put that one on the legend. And then we can format it a little bit. So I'm gonna to go to the format tab. And then here I'm gonna put the legend on the right hand side. And now it is summing up all of these values by country for all of the years. Okay, so it doesn't really make sense at this point in time. Okay, so I can go back and then maybe it's a little bit better if I change what we have here on the y-axis to the average and the same for the fertility rate. So I'm gonna change that also to the average and then also for the population. Okay, so now that we have done this, how can we now add a play axis? Well, we don't need this extra visual anymore. Instead of that, we can just simply use the play axis that's already part of the scatter plot. So I'm gonna take the year, which I'm gonna drag on the play axis. So now you see that at the bottom of the visual, we have the play axis, okay? And you also see what it's currently filtering on. Okay, so now we can simply click on the play button, lean back and enjoy the visualization. This visual is actually based on a visual from Hans Rosling, which you might know from the TED talk, the best stats ever. I really recommend it. And there you build this visual and you can see how the developing countries are catching up with the developed countries. Now all of the countries are moving to the top left corner and at the lower the fertility rate and the higher the life expectancy. And these are indicators for the development of the country. It's a really cool visual. And what is also nice is that if you click on a certain circle, then you can see how it develops over time. Now you see the play axis is a really cool visual, whether you use it in a scatter plot or you use the custom visual and apply it to different visualizations on your report and it can be any visual. Another way that I've seen this visual being used is for if you have a report that you show on a screen in your office and you would just want to apply different filters every couple of seconds, then you can do it with play axis. Now maybe you have seen other ways of how it can be implemented then share it with us in the comment section below. And of course, if you're new and you didn't subscribe yet, hit the subscribe button. I hope to see you in the next video.